looking to make master crafted armors and weapons but don't know how to do it because every blacksmith you go to doesn't know how to craft them well don't worry i'm going to teach you how to do it well first of all you're going to need a master craftsman for your armors so head to the location that i'm showing you right here in crow's perch if it's the first time that you're entering crow's perch you will see this cutscene after the cutscene is over you can continue your way until you reach this guy named fergus start a conversation with him and choose this yellow option after your talk you will get this new quest named master armorers now in order for you to continue this quest you must first make your way to Escalaga. if you don't know how to do that you have to start this quest from your main quests named destination Escalaga and follow up on that and it will eventually get you to Escalaga. now hear me out you really should not just head to Escalaga before completing your quests and side quests in Velen and Novigrad. Make sure that you level up enough before heading to Escalaga. So yeah, complete your main and side quests in Velen and Novigrad first. You won't really need mastercrafted armors and weapons before you level up anyways. Superior armors and weapons are more than enough for you to destroy your enemies in Velen and Novigrad even if you are playing in this much difficulty. So yeah, with all of that being said, consider yourself warned. Because skipping on your missions sometimes will result in failing a specific missions, and if that happens, you will lose your chance on ever completing that specific mission. But after you finally reach Skellige, get yourself to this island, to this exact location that I'm showing you. After getting here, it's time for some parkour. No! After you finally reach the top, enter this cave, here you see an ice troll that you must fight and kill. After that, just head to this chest right here, open it and pick up the high quality smithing tools. Now that that's done, head back to Fergus and let him know that you have the tools, which will lead you to finding and killing a griffin in order to get some acid from it. After getting the acid, just head back to Kraus Perch and talk to Yuana in order to give her the acid, which will start a conversation. Choose this option in your conversation and help her in this test. And done. After the test is finished, you can meditate for a day and get a new armor from Yuana as a reward. And now you have a master armor. From now on, she can craft you any kind of master crafted witcher's armor that you want. One more thing, after you kill the arch griffin, you can come talk to this quartermaster right here and tell him that you have killed the arch griffin and get some money from him for a job well done. Just remember to pick up the trophy alongside the acid when you are losing the corpse of the griffin. Now let's see how we can get master crafted sword. For this, you have to find a guy named Hatori in Novigrad. You will find him in this exact location. Then go ahead and enter this shop and talk to Atori and choose this yellow option. Now track the quest named of swords and dumplings to continue this quest. But let me warn you that the level recommended for this quest is level 24 and you better meet the recommended level for this quest because if you don't there are some fights in this quest with some fellers that might give you a hard time. So yeah, complete some side quests or main quests until you reach the recommended level. Anyways, meet with Hatori at dawn in the location that the game is telling you to to continue this quest. After that, you get to negotiate with some guys for a good price, and after that, there will be a fight with Cleaver's goons. Now, this is one of those fights that I have warned you about earlier. These fellows can give you a hard time if you see their level as a red skull, which means that their level is way higher than yours, and fighting them might not be a good idea at the moment. Moving on, this quest is not really that hard from this point on. All you have to do is to fight this big guy and convince him to become Hattori's bodyguard. And well, obviously this big guy will ask something else from you and you will have to deal with that as well. I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. After you accept what he wants from you, you will have to make your way to this guy's boat and wreck some of these barrels until they start fighting with you. Then just go ahead and beat them as well. Now after all of these beatings and killings, go back to Hattori and tell him that the job is done. This is where you find out that the job is actually not Fight. done yet because now he will send you to this place where you will have to use your witcher senses to find some supplies. After you're done doing that, guess what? You will have to kill these guys as well. Now it's actually over. Just go talk to Hattori, then just wait or meditate for a week. After that, go talk to him and he will reward you with a sword that he has made for you. And with that, you have yourself a guy who can craft all sorts of mastercrafted silver and steel swords. Now one more thing, there is another person who can craft both armors and swords, but in order for you to be able to actually talk to him, you have to own the Blood and Wine DLC, because this guy lives in Toussaint in this location that I'm showing you. Not only that this guy can craft both master crafted armors and weapons, this guy is the only person who can craft Grandmaster Witcher gears in the game, which is a higher level than master crafted gears. I've actually made another video showing every single stage of all of the Witcher gears in the game with the recommended builds for them. If you want to see them and learn a thing or two about them, 
If you are new to the game or just revisiting the game after some time, click on the video at the top right to watch that video. As always, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer you in the comment section. This was G Faction. Stay safe and good luck on the path.